Welcome back to Passionate About Tech. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to clear every type of cache in Windows 11, from temporary files to browser data, Windows Store cache, and even GPU cache, to boost your PC's performance and free up valuable space. We'll go step by step using simple methods that are safe and effective. Step 1. Clear temporary files. Let's start with clearing temporary files. Press the Windows key and R key together to open the Run dialog box. In the Run box, type temp and press Enter. If a permission prompt pops up, click Continue. This opens the first temp folder, where Windows and apps store temporary files. You'll see a bunch of files and folders here, don't worry, these are safe to delete. Select any file, press Ctrl A to select all, then press Shift Delete to permanently delete them. Using Shift Delete skips the recycle bin ensuring these files are gone for good. If some files won't delete because they're in use like if you're recording a screen capture, check the box to do this for all current items and click Skip. Now, let's check another temp location. Press Windows key and R again, and this time, type percentage, temp, percentage, then press Enter. This opens a different temp folder in your user directory. Again, select all files with Ctrl A, then Shift Delete. If some files are in use, click Skip as before. These temp folders often hold leftover junk from apps, so clearing them can free up space and improve performance. Step 2. Clear the prefetch cache. Next, let's clear the prefetch cache, which stores data to help apps launch faster but can become cluttered over time. Press Windows key and R together to open the run box. Type prefetch and press Enter. If a permission prompt appears, click Continue. This opens the Prefetch folder, where Windows stores preloaded app data. Select any file, press Ctrl A to select all, then Shift Delete to permanently remove them. Don't worry, Windows will recreate these files as needed for apps you use, but clearing out old Prefetch data can help with performance, especially if you've had Windows 11 installed for a while, or have unused apps lingering in the cache. Step 3. Clear Windows Update Cache Now, let's tackle the Windows Update Cache, which can take up a lot of space with old update files. Open File Explorer, click the File Explorer icon on your taskbar, or press Windows key and E. Navigate to your C drive, then find the Windows folder and click on it. Scroll down until you see Software Distribution and click to open it. Inside Software Distribution, look for the Downloads folder this holds temporary files from Windows updates. Open the Downloads folder, select all files with Ctrl A, and press Delete to send them to the recycle bin. Clearing this cache removes old update files you no longer need, freeing up space sometimes several gigabytes. Step 4. Use Disk Cleanup to remove system junk. Let's use Windows 11's built-in Disk Cleanup tool to remove even more junk files. In the search bar, type Disk Cleanup and press Enter. A window will pop up, asking you to select a drive, choose your C drive, where Windows is installed, and click OK. Disk Cleanup will scan your system and show a list of file types you can delete, like temporary files, recycle bin, and thumbnails. Check all the boxes to select everything. I'm seeing 584 megabytes of junk on my system. To clear even more, click Clean Up System Files. It'll rescan. And now you'll see additional options like Windows Update Cleanup. Check all the boxes again, but if you want to keep the ability to roll back recent updates, uncheck Windows Update Cleanup. Click OK, then delete files, and let it ruin it might take a few minutes. This step can reclaim a ton of space and improve your PC's performance by removing system-level junk. Step 5. Clear Windows Store Cache and File Explorer History which can accumulate data from app downloads and updates. Press Windows key and R to open the Run box. Type WS Reset, or one word, and press Enter. A blank command prompt window will appear briefly, then the Microsoft Store will open, that means the cache has been cleared. Close the Store window. Next, let's clear File Explorer history to remove recent file and folder data. Open File Explorer, click the three dots at the top, and select Options. In the Folder Options window, under the Privacy section at the bottom, 
you'll see two buttons. Click the Clear button to remove recent files, and LocationSit will help declutter File Explorer and improve privacy. Then click OK. Step 6. Clear browser cache for Edge, Chrome, and Firefox. Your browsers can hold a lot of cached data that slows things down, so let's clear them out. First, open Microsoft Edge. Click the three dots in the top right, then go to Settings, and select Privacy, Search, and Services. Click on Clear Browsing Data, and click Choose what to clear. Set the time range to All Time, then check boxes for Browsing History, Cookies, and Cached Images and Files, but uncheck Passwords and Autofill if you want to keep those. Click Clear Now. Next, open Google Chrome. Click the three dots, go to Settings, then Privacy and Security, and select Delete Browsing Data. Again, set the time range to all time. Check Browsing History, Cookies, and Cached Images, and click Delete Data. Do the same thing with Firefox. Click the hamburger menu in the top right. Go to Settings, then Privacy and Security. Scroll to Cookies and Site Data. Then, under History, click Clear History. Set the time range to everything. Check all boxes and click Clear. Clearing browser cache can speed up your browsing and free up space. Step 7. Clear DNS cache and location history. Let's clear the DNS cache to improve network performance. Open Command Prompt as an admin type CMD in the search bar. Right-click Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. In Command Prompt, type ipconfig space slash flush DNS and press Enter. You'll see a message saying, successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. That's it. Close Command Prompt. This step keeps your system clean and your data private. Step 8. Clear GPU cache for NVIDIA or AMD. If you have a dedicated GPU like NVIDIA or AMD card, let's clear its cache to improve graphics performance. Press Windows key and R to open the run box. Type percentage, local app data, percentage, and press enter. This opens the local app data folder. Scroll down to the NVIDIA folder at AMD if you have an AMD GPU and open it. You'll see folders like DX cache and GL cache. Open DX cache. Select all files with Control A and press Delete. If some files are in use, click Skip. This step can help with graphics performance, especially for gaming or video editing. Final tips and tools. You've now cleared almost all cache types in Windows 11, but here are a couple of tips. If you want a faster way to do this in the future, consider using a free tool like BleachBitit's a powerful program that automates cache cleaning and comes in a portable version if you don't want to install it and it's great for quick cleanups. If this tutorial helped you speed up your Windows 11 PC, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay updated with Passionate About Tech. And that's it, tech fans. You've just learned how to clear all cache in Windows 11, from temp files and prefetch to Windows Update, browser data, Windows Store, DNS, location history, and even GPU cache. Your PC should now be faster, lighter, and ready to tackle anything you throw at it. Drop a comment below how much space did you free up. Thanks for watching, stay passionate about tech, and I'll see you in the next video.